What up? What up? What up? So we're on our way to uh, photo shoot via my wife. We're gonna break this down real quick. Go ahead, baby. Oh, we're going to. I think it's called the Voodoo Club, um, where there are two gentlemen that make guitars. Uh, the main one that I paid attention to and did a little research on was uh, Paul Reed Smith. He's responsible for the PRS guitar line, which has supplied custom guitars for players of the group Santana, Creed, and others of that caliber. And they are launching their new acoustic and electric guitar line today. And they're going to have a little concert style jam session and they've allowed some of us photographers access to come in and photograph that so that's what we're doing today now from my understanding i think there's only but so much i can actually video of it so i uh, don't expect to see too much but at least i want to keep you informed as to the stuff that we're doing you know what i mean of the very first Tony McManus guitar that we brought to NAMM. And we, we decided, as a rule, we were going to stop putting my name on the front of the headstocks and start putting his artist's name on the headstock. Because in the acoustic world, I was an electric guitar maker, it wasn't going to happen. But anyway, without further ado, if you could play a couple tunes for him. Can I give a little precursor? There's this one tune I go, I call, what do I call this tune? I call this tune. When he's done, he's going to tune the guitar down to B-flat. Now, that shouldn't work on an acoustic guitar, but I want you to notice also, there are some subs along the front here. Y'all in the front are going to feel these JBLs. Can you hit the top of the guitar so I can understand? I'm sorry. That's acoustic guitar doing that, not a big strum, okay? How are you doing?
It's in this chain, which is D-A-D, G-A-D, dot gad. How difficult is that? <laughs> One finger. Keep going up. Keep going up. Next one. There you go. Can we play one other game? Huh? Can we play one other game? Oh sure. What if um what would happen if Jimmy Page if Jimmy Page was born in different countries, had no stairway to heaven have sound? Right? Uh, you asked what? for Led Zeppelin, you did not know what you were saying. Jimmy Page tried to buy a house in Ayrshire, just south of where I grew up. And I was wondering what, what would have happened had he actually been born there instead of landing. That might have come out like this. Spay to heaven. <laughs> and then it just got worse. <laughs> Jamaica. Greece. You get the point. <laughs> Germany. Parts of Eastern Europe, Macedonia, Bulgaria, uh, Northern Greece, they have time signatures that look like wrench sizes. Okay. <laughs> they forget 3, 4, 4, 4, 6, 8. They start at 5, 16. That's 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and so on. Chet Vardon is 7, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, uh, Daichevo is 9, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. When they get to 11, they put the 3 in the middle. Right? It goes 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. That's one bar. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. So, it's called Kopanitsa. So, Kopanitsa to heaven. Around this at this time of the day. 